on Jofa Montano from the Philippines. And he is wearing the white shorts with the gold trim. Round number one underway. And of course, Jofa is a very experienced fighter as well. Lots of former belts. And he attempts a big swing and an uppercut very early on. Very rare DC uppercuts in the early rounds of fights. And a big right hand lands by Acharya. The fight is now in the center of the ring. We've got another southpaw against an orthodox. And that is a beautiful uppercut landed by Jofa. Especially when you're against um, a southpaw, you throw that uppercut to the chest. And usually it lands either to the chin or just to the upper chest. Acharya now just trying to close the distance. But again, first round scheduled for 12. This is a marathon and not a sprint. Jofa marches forward with a nice jab. Both fighters still trying to find their range. Just trying to get that range ready for a powerful shot. Atria has got a huge scoring section as well. Every shot he lands, the crowd are going wild. Jofa has now landed a nice body shot, followed up by a left upstairs. Jofa does not take any of the bait from Atria as he lands a nice body shot as well, which almost stumbles Atria. Jofa marching forward now, following up that jab with some big uppercuts indeed. Jofa lands a nice one two with a left downstairs. And another left downstairs lands clean for Jofa Montano. And the man from the Philippines is the time to try and put this man away in the first round, it seems. Jofa very aggressive. Jofa usually takes a back foot approach in the early rounds. I think he realizes he needs to just start pushing the person a little bit more now. He's definitely adjusted from his last fight. A big flurry lands for Jofa. So right now Jofa has landed a lot of clean shots. Atreya, but I think realizes this is 12 rounds. He doesn't need to do anything crazy just yet. Less than a minute to go, round number one, as Jofa charges in again with that uppercut to the chest. A very nice move for a southpaw to land as well on an orthodox. And you, it works both ways, and there it is. Another beautifully timed body shot. Definitely pays dividends in these 12-round fights. You try and take the gas tank away from your opponent so they have no energy for the later rounds. Big right and left upstairs as well as Atria shakes his head and throws it his own. Almost saying you can have one back. A nice jab followed up by a left hand downstairs. Ten seconds to go, round number one. Oh! Downstairs as well. A very nice round by both of these fighters, but the Philippines in the white and gold, Mr. Jofa Montano takes on Thailand in the red and white shorts, Mr. Achiria. Round two, scheduled for 12. Jofa starting off a little bit busier, swaying left and right. Achiria throws a nice left hand upstairs, shows his head movement as well as he throws a big right hand upstairs. Achiria dipping underneath and Jofa has got to be very good. Another jab as well, and again, Atria a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more accurate. He's got to be careful because we know Jofa likes to throw the uppercut. And if you're putting your head down there, you're going to move into the uppercut. A big left hand knocks Atria back. 
and it almost looked like a slip, but it definitely put him down. He may as well take the eight count. It doesn't look like it hurt him. I think it was more off balance than anything, but a beautifully timed left hand. And Jofa, I think, knows this as well. I think he's gonna take his time. We will see what Jofa wants to do with this. But that is huge early on in the fight to win on the scorecards this early. And he eats a right hand as well, which puts him to the canvas. And he is flat on his back. Is he gonna get back up, folks? I'm not sure. And that is it. And he is still on the canvas. It was a right hand by Jofa. We're gonna see very soon. And I think it was just too much for Acura. Let's see it here. So that was the first knockdown. It was a stiff left hand that put him down to the canvas. And here was that second knockdown. And I think it was the head that hit the canvas towards the end because the right hand hit the chin. And as he fell to the canvas, he is still on the floor, ladies and gentlemen. The doctors are in the ring. I think it just takes a little bit of time for him to recuperate. And we sure will see Akira in the ring once again. What a relentless performance from the man from the Philippines, Mr. Jofa. Montana will be taking that WBA all around the welterweight title belt. And I think that's exactly what Jofa Montana needed after he came off a few losses. I think he's now going to realize his back is in the pecking order. To become a champion. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, at one minute and 19 seconds into round number two, your winner by TKO and the new WBA. Goes to the red corner, give it up for Jumper! Hey!